Tonight's meeting of the Conservation Commission is uh, open, being 7 o'clock, and it's being recorded for RCTV. It's live in Comcast Channel 99, Verizon Channel 32. The videographer for tonight's meeting is Ben. Check www.rctv.org for more information and for replay times. And the first item on the agenda at 7 o'clock is a request for determinate, determination of accountability <coughs> to 7 2017-11320 Havel Street, map 41, lot 20, Barrett. And we have some information in our packets, and I understand Chuck and Dave did a um, site visit on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Barrett, would you like to make a presentation? Absolutely. Um, good evening, committee members. Uh, this said, my name is Sam Barrett. Um, I am a life scout in Troop Zone 50 um, in North Reading, uh, town over, and I'm seeking to achieve my Eagle rank. Um, Eagle Scout is the highest rank possible a Boy Scout can achieve. Um, it is a great honor. Very few scouts ever achieve this rank. And the main part of achieving Eagle is to complete a service project that benefits your town or community. And the project that I've chosen to attempt is to construct a pathway through the woods between my church, St. Athanasius, and the uh, Sawtell Hospice House next door. So why am I here? So hopefully by the end of the night, um, I hope, or by the end of however long it takes you to set, I hope to gain your approval for my project so that I may begin work on it. Um, I have already um, completed all the paperwork through the BSA and that's all set. So hopefully by the time I get your approval, I will be able to begin work on the project. And the basic overview of the work that this project will take is I want to construct a roughly 100 foot um, landscaping gravel pathway through the woods between St. Alessonius Church at 300 Havel Street and the hospice center next door, Sato Hospice at 320 Havel Street. Um, the pathway will include a 12 foot by 12 foot long by four foot wide boardwalk. Um, the plans have been already provided to me by the Reading Engineering Department. Um, that will be used to span a five foot wide dried creek bed. So the two beneficiaries for this project would be um, the St. Athanasius Church and the Sawtell Hospice House. So if so, the main so the main reason why this pathway is needed is because the Sawtell Hospice House does not have very much parking and people that use and people that and volunteers and staff and family members wishing to visit loved ones um, use the church parking lot to visit the Sawtell Hop to visit the hot house. The problem is that people have to walk from the church parking lot out to Able Street and all the way around to access it. And a path through the woods would drastically reduce the time and distance necessary to accomplish this. So I have an aerial map. This is just a Google Earth of the area. So as you see, you have the parking lot and the hospice house. So typically, the staff and uh, the priest, um, they park in this vicinity. And, if, and because there's no path through here, they have to walk out and all the way around Haverhill Street to get to the house. Whereas if there were a path here that they could use, the distance would be greatly reduced. So in terms of the notifications necessary, um, so the notification to all the abutters list was placed in the Daily Times Chronicle on October 5th, and the abutters were mailed on October 4th, and um, responses are still pending. And these are just some pictures of the area that I took. Um, so this, these two are both in the area on the church side of the creek bed. So this one is looking with the parking lot to my back down towards the creek, you can see it here. So this is just to get an idea of the amount of brush that's present in the air, and it's pretty sparse. There aren't that many trees. Ideally, the pathway would wind down this way until it approached the creek bed. Um, very little brush would have to be cleared, just some basic weed pulling, things like that. Um, and, then, and then this is the creek bed itself. Um, the creek bed is dry for most, for just about all year long. Um, I've only seen it with water at once, and that was directly after winter, after the snow melted. Um, it isn't fed by anything. Um, there isn't any life growing in it. There's just a lot of sticks in there. Um, the area itself, as you can see, doesn't get much sunlight. 
Uh, it's pretty very. It's very well shaded by the canopy. And this is the video. And this is a um, visual of looking from the creek bed to the hospice center. So this is the area that I like to use. There isn't again not much brush, just an already seen carving path because. Even though there isn't a path there, a lot of people still use this area to walk through just because they don't want to walk all the way around. So people already use this area and it would just make it that much easier for the staff and volunteers and the Father Caller. So. And this is just the same view except closer to the hospice center, giving a little idea of where it would come out. So the door is just, just through those trees there. And then this is just the pictures of some of the litter I found on the site. So as part of the project, other than just clearing the area, um, I would have my volunteers on day one do an entire sweep through of the entire area and just pick up all trash that was there. I kind of have a conservation project in the area, so it looks nice. And I will open it up to questions. Um, does the, the priest now, does he go through that area to get to the house? Not does always. But, but on, some, on occasion, he yes, does. he and goes they, there to perform anointing of the sick sacraments when right. he's asked. And so, a lot of other people are, are walking through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there any kind of a fence that's separating? No. The two properties. No. Okay. Okay. Right. How did you end up choosing the location? I mean, it looks like people are walking there already. Um, but is that just? Did you just kind of choose the spot that people seem to be crossing? Is this the shortest? Path across. It is the shortest path, um, and it's the path, and it's the way that requires um, the least amount of brush clearing. Yeah. Because, like, as you can see, like to the left and right here, there's a lot of the denser brush, and if I were to make the path through here, it would just a lot less work on my part clearing the brush away and making laying a nice path down. Dave, did you 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 took a you you went out on I didn't. I have Tuesday. I have you know a bunch of. First of all, I want to say that I think it's a great project. Um, Thank you. You know, uh, it's going to be an ambitious, ambitious project. Uh, you know, as I looked at this, you know, there were several things that I I saw when I was there, and several questions that I had. Um, I know that you had a. Uh, uh, I think you said that you were going to put like seven ton of. I think you said seven ton of crushed stone. Roughly, yeah. I went to a yeah. local okay. um, gravel company, Lynch Materials, down on yeah. Route 62. And I just basically said I need a 100 foot long pathway that's basically about three, four feet wide, about three inches deep. And, he, and I just asked him to give me a rough estimate of about how much gravel he said. And he said between six and seven tons. Yeah, that's, but that's assuming that you have a flat area that's, that, that's three feet wide. As you fill that divot that just comes across the, the parking lot, that seven tons is going to disappear in that first divot that's there, that first swale. One of the other things I saw when I was there is you're looking from the, the, the drainage swale back towards the St. Athanasius parking lot. I, I know that you said you wanted to put a path there, and one of the things that I, you know, just as a, as, as a, a possible consideration is that you might want to think about making a set of maybe uh, uh, pressure treated tie timber stairs there that would come down off of that steep bankment from the parking lot down to that swale, like so a that almost. so that that big it doesn't swale gravel. right? Because I, as I said to Mr. Taroni when we were there, that seven that total seven tons of gravel that you're talking about, that little lip that's right there, that seven tons is going to disappear there, and you're going to need more just to fit it, fit, <laughs> just to just to fill that swale. Do, do, uh, Bridge going over the swale, right? There no, will be. No, this is. What's this, that? There will be. He's there will be over the over the drainage canal. Over the, this is a roughed in, you know, basic path. Yeah. And they're hopping a drainage swale. Yeah. So I, I, went, I went out there today to yeah. to take a look at it. But so, the one that you're talking about filling in, there's going to be a a wooden bridge over that. That's not going to no. get filled. No. No. He, no. There's there's uh, the the Saint Athanasius the church there is a little bit higher. Then basically the in, in front of the stream, to drop right. off as you yeah. Go so in. that's right. what we're right. Discussing. When it drops off and it goes like this before it hits the level of the the drainage drain swale. Okay. That that invert there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're going to need a lot more than seven ton of stone. Uh, the other thing is is that we when we were there, 
One of the questions that I had was when you get to the grassy area on the other uh, side. On the other side, what's going to happen there? Are you are they going to provide a walkway there, or is people going to still keep walking across the grass? Or, because that's pretty finished landscape over there. Mm -hmm. We plan to just have people walk across the grass. Okay. Up onto the um, driveway. Okay. I have a question. And I, I see some of the other trails around town, and they don't have crushed gravel. No. Is there any reason why you, why you couldn't have either mulch or, or just dirt or something similar to you know what's in the town forest, and not yeah. the expense of the gravel? It just seems like some think it's seven times yeah. has to cost all some money. Yeah. Other okay. than it keeps your shoe, shoes clean. When you walk in and in that you yeah. but you're going through the grass and yeah <laughs> yeah it, it is it, it, it keep easy to keep clean easy to maintain with the gravel mm -hmm. and and i would imagine that if you reached out to uh gravel lynch contract and i much. would feel pretty confident that they'd make some kind of an arrangement with you mm -hmm. on the cost if if they if they weren't going to directly give you a, a donation to do that have you reached out to be generous if you did. Well, <laughs> I mean, have you reached what out was to the cost of the seven tons? The seven tons, he said that the gravel I was looking for would cost between seventeen and eighteen dollars a ton, and then plus there was the delivery fee yeah. with the dump truck to the site. He said it was going to cost in the neighbor of, he said two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars for the gravel. Mm. Did you ask him if he would be willing to donate it? Uh, this was earlier, actually, in the summer. So which, which gravel place was that? This was Lynch Materials. That's right. Did you ask the guy that was in the scale house, or did you contact? He was in the scale house. Yeah, he doesn't have That's the right to actually authority to, to grant you a donation anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Well, um, I had a question that kind of piggybacked a little bit of what you were saying, and that was, so I'm trying to envision this pathway when it's completed, um, and let's say the winter time comes. Um, is this going to be a type of pathway that's going to be someone's going to maintain shovel yes. or salt so, during the winter time? So both ends, both the church and the hospice center have maintenance people, and both have told me that they would be responsible for maintaining their end of the pathway. Their end of the, the pathway. Winter time. Yes. Because um, we might we might want to think about how you know the de-icing de happens there. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just something that. No, it's a, it's a very flags. good point. Um, it's because we want it safe. We drainage it safe. ditch is uh, not off the top shelf. It doesn't look like it's used. It much. doesn't sound like it it's like a significant resource. Yeah, it's, it's it doesn't drainage. look. There's no erosion. There's no rocky base. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's, yeah. it's not a breeding area. So, yeah. I mean, I would assume that a lot of the the salt and sand is going to be just shoveled over the sides um, in the future. So. I think it's a great idea to actually, if there is any resource area there, to, to bridge it with, with something mm -hmm. more instead of everybody mucking through on their way mm -hmm. to and from. Well, that's another consideration is it's going to get, it's going to get messy, especially on the grass area. Do you know if that's been shoveled even though there isn't a path there now? During the winter? Yeah. No, they don't bother just shoveling out during the winter. Mm -hmm. They just they walk around. I have one other question about the construction technique on this. You have uh, five two by eights joists that are going for the uh, the bridge that's going across, and when you're screwing down the the uh, one by six composite decking, mm -hmm. um, you're securing that with uh, six screws. So if there's Five joists. Why are you omitting the screws on the two intermediate joists? Why are there not ten screws? Why is there only six? Um, I did not feel it was necessary at the time to use ten, but if they do seem necessary, that would be something that would be perfectly willing to do. Um. So uh, part of the conversation was um, mulch or the stone dust. Are you, are you still going with the stone dust or the, the gravel? Yes. 
Okay. I, when you say gravel, so is it stone dust? I don't know. No, okay. no it's, it's, it's three quarter inch to one inch gravel. Right. Okay. Chunks of gravel. So it's crushed stone. Yeah. With landscaping material underneath. Yep. Mm -hmm. How are you going to hold it? I know that in the application it says landscape siding. Is it so I think that? the brand is, it's called um, Profic Proflex Landscape Siding, and it's this, um, you buy it in bulk, it's I, 100 foot sections, so it's this plastic siding. Mm -hmm. It's about, um, it's L-shaped, so, and it comes with 10 inch metal stakes, and it's flexible, so I can bend it around down the hill, if need be, or around corners and then I stake it into the ground. And where the ground drops off, what, what was the intention? That, I'm, what I'm trying to not have happen, and I don't know if this is a combination of the bridge being, or the boardwalk being 12 feet, yeah. and um, or 16 feet, but for <laughs> somehow, we had this problem before where in a rainstorm, things just wash down the hill. So the, I'd like, oh. Yeah. Be assured that what's going to what's in the gravel path is going to stay there, mm -hmm. and it's not going to go on either side. And at where it meets up to the boardwalk, it's not going to get wet, solidify, and then run into the stream. Right. So some sort of erosion. So I, you know, want you to think about that. I don't know if there's any suggestions. Maybe Mike, we might know something. But uh, so we had at the bird sanctuary. It was just it just kept happening. Um, there was no way to stop it. So um, that's the two things I thought of. I mean, you, the boardwalk, is that going to be dug in on both sides so it's flush? Yes. Okay. So, so we'll, we'll that, have like an opportunity to kind of cascade over that if it's flush. Yeah, where that meets the bank and we just kind of put stones along that because this landscape edging that you have, not only are you going to have to put that down the ground and then fill in between it, you're going to have to backfill on either side of that because um, that's not going to just sit there and by itself. That's that's intended to that's that landscape barrier that you have there is intended to be flush with the the grade, flush with the top of the ground. Right. So you're not only going to have to fill in between that. You're going to have to fill also on the outside of that. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess I wasn't in, when I saw this, I wasn't envisioning, how much do you think he's filling? I mean, he, he was talking about three inches. You're, you are making it seem like you're thinking it's going to be a lot more. Well, the thing is with this stuff that he's talking about, it, it bends a little bit, but not much. So you can undulate it as with the ground, but as, as that ground undulates, you know, if you have a swale that's, you know, no, no wider than this desk here and three feet long, you're going to put a half a ton of stone in there. It's yeah. going to disappear just to make it flat enough for you to make that walkway. Hmm. So, is your intention to have it as flat as possible? No, I. Yeah, it just work I just want to you know, work with the contour of the land. Yeah. So um, when we were out there, uh, we did notice that there was um, some bittersweet vine. And I was going to ask you to add to your project, not to pull it down, but if you could just go around cutting it so it doesn't choke out the pine tree and the other trees that are there. You can see it just wraps around like a, like a snake around all the branches. You but said you, saw, you said not pull it, but cut it? Just cut it and it'll oh, okay. die off. And it's, it's way up in the trees. It just looks like pine all over the place. Okay. But that would be very helpful because those trees will just die off. Um, right. So Bittersweet pine, okay. Any other questions, comments? <laughs> no, overall, I think it's a good project. I just, um, um, just a couple things we highlighted tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you want to respond to those um, for the next round or if we want to just leave this. Well, it's an RDA, right? It's an RDA. It's an RDA. Right. Yep. So what, are, what are, are the those things that need more attention? Um, um, well, maybe it, I'm not sure if it, maybe it just needs to be written, you know, and just in the RDA, you, you know, I just want to make sure that what we've talked about tonight and considerations about, you know, who's expected to clear the snow, the path, 
Yeah, yeah we could put some you conditions know, in it. Just um, something that makes the these little issues just clear and defined and going forward. So th we will ask you to give a, a copy of the order or the determination to the church, mm -hmm. their maintenance crew, and also with the hospice, uh, which would help because it, it will say something like, you know, don't throw the snow directly into the stream. And uh, I don't, you know, do we dare say no salt, just sand on the on the boardwalk? Um, I mean, how hard is, um, you know, sand to get? Is it, is it a lot harder to get than salt? No. <laughs> no, so I mean, no. I, I would prefer to see a little bit of sand versus salt. I, I think so I think. I think Sawtell I think Sawtell also needs to be notified that during the winter time their grass lawn could could need some additional maintenance in the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's just a flag that you know it might be important to tell them just so that they're not surprised by it after mm -hmm. the project. So Nobody likes surprises. When you finish this project um, in the springtime, the really cold, cold stuff because it's yeah. going into next winter. Is, uh, I just are you done? Really and it'll be the maintenance crew that's that are going to take care of it. Yes. So it's you're just building it. They're going to maintain it. Mm -hmm. okay. And it goes um, in the wet hand, going behind the daycare center. Yeah, I gotcha. That's where this goes. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this so, is an upgrade in of the yes. wetlands yeah, behind correct. the daycare center. Yeah, so yeah, did you hear that? I'm sorry. Okay. The maintenance crews are going to take over this project after it's built. Okay. So. I don't have anything. So, so we have uh, cleanup of the trash, which you had mentioned, mm -hmm. and then the cutting of the bittersweet vines. Um, are you? Do you know what the bittersweet vines are? Um, no, I don't. Um, we could go out, maybe. We yeah. can go out and show you. Okay. We can you go out and show you, but it's. They're, they're, um, it's easy to see. They're the vines that are wrapping themselves around the tree. They're choking it out so much, they've actually embedded themselves in the branches. So you just look at one, you can see with the leaves on that, and you'll see the rest. I did look around, I didn't see any poison were, were they growing out, on the tree. Did, were they out with the orange berries already? The, there was berries out there too, but not a lot. Hmm. You, you can tell they've, they've got really bright orange, small berries. Right. Very decorative in the fall. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy. What yeah. a nuisance. They're just growing they the, straight yeah. up on the tree. They just climb and climb and climb. But uh, yeah, it yeah. would be yeah. easy. I would have no clue what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> there is a condition in, in the determination to um, be there to, and I'd like to meet you there, maybe some of the commission also, sure. when you're finished. Mm -hmm. So you have to take the time to do that. Right. Okay. What's your guess as to what? Which way are you going to go coming down off the parking lot? Um, I like the idea of the terracing because it would require less gravel. Well, the so other thing is, is that coming down those in the winter mm -hmm. versus going to town, that's a pretty steep slope. Yeah. You know, if that had like it slushy uh, frozen snow on it, mm -hmm. it's, uh, you're going to go for a sleigh ride going down that. <laughs> Whereas you may not be as likely to do that on a set of stairs. I mean, you don't have to be. You know, well, just remember what you're walking between a church and a hospice. I mean, it should be more ADA compliant than, than set of stairs. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Correct. If you're going to do anything, build another ramp between the draw, between that upper parking lot and, yeah. and yeah. the yeah. boardwalk that you're Extend doing. Extend the boardwalk. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be. Uh, if it's ADA, ADA compliant, compliant. Now you allow people just one foot and twelve feet walk straight through it. And I don't think you're going to get that between <laughs> the parking lot and the edge of that. You're not going to get. Got no. slope requirements. No. So then you're going to have to be going back and forth and back. We're not and asking him to actually do it. We're getting, getting, getting as close as we can. Thank right. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the user be beware. Right. <laughs> when do you think it's you're going to start this project? Yeah. Um, so, so because it's an Eagle project, it has to be finished by my 18th birthday, which is December 5th. So as soon as you give approval, I will begin working the weekend after. Um, how, how long do you think this project will take? Um, so if I can require the materials um, in, a quick, in a quick manner, probably not more than two or three weekends. I think it's a good project. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a great project. Yeah. Yeah, I already talked to the building inspector when they when uh, Sam first came in, mm -hmm. 
and um, this is he's okay to just for creating a path or yeah. he's okay with that just like uh, so he's not going to require a permit are there any oh, do we need to make a, uh, a vote to issue it uh, no, no, uh, um, for the request to um, the fee yes 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 we do need to make a vote for that and um, so there's been a variance request okay. to um, have the commission waive the fees on the town side, but uh, Sam did pay for the um, newspaper ad. Okay. Do we hear a motion? I make a motion to waive the, the fees That's for right. the RDA. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Thank you. Do we hear a motion I to? Make a motion for a negative determination with the uh, additional conditions as amended. Do we hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Very good job, Sam. Thank you. So yeah. you could. Um, good luck. So the way this works is there's a 10-day appeal period, mm -hmm. which is not going to work uh, with your schedule, I don't think. But you can proceed at your own risk with an RDA. Um, you know, Noah Butter came here. You have the permission of the property owners, so you could probably get started. But I'd like you to pick up. Um, the determination before, or we can mail it out to you, whichever you would like. I can pick it up on my way home sometime, or have Michelle pick. She works at the church most days of the week, so she could swing by and grab it. Okay, and it should be ready. Just shoot us an email when it's ready. Sure thing. I'll do that, but it should be ready anytime after 11 tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank thanks you. very much. Thank, for thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your help on this, by the way. Uh, no problem. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Um, would you be able to send me an email just of like what we discussed here, and like. Just a reminder about the sweet sure thing. Bittersweet and the terracing, just so I have a better idea. I sure will. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Have right. a good night, everyone. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 710, we are discussing the request for determination of applicability to 2017 12, 310 South Street, Map 4, Lot 144, Allen. And Mr. Allen, did you sign in? I did not. So this is me and uh, Mr. Finette's favorite property. <laughs> oh, yeah. there. So did this a lot. I remember this. I remember the going across the, the grass. Asphalt. Yeah. I remember. This yeah. closed. Yes. And this was an order of conditions that closed. I mean, the, the plan that we had because it says received by the commission on March twenty. Second. This was a, a addition to the house and a removal of that. Yeah, March 15, 2017, was modified by the homeowner it was a garage. on September 23rd. Right. <laughs> this doesn't say modified on it. Okay. But it is. It's the original yeah. plan. And the sketch around it, mm -hmm. the sketch of the fence is what was modified. Right. right. So, um, what we're looking at here is a uh, six foot vinyl fence and with two gates in it. The, um, the layout of the fence is to me exactly where we uh, allowed the lawn to be. Yep. And in back of that where it says 134 is where we asked for, um, where this project through the developer had encroached into that area, which I believe is town land. Mm -hmm. And we asked that um, he stop mowing back there and they plant a tree. And both those things had happened a couple months ago when me and Dave went out and looked at this project. We actually also asked that some granite bounds were moved um, to be put in the right spot uh, as far as um, our requirements. So, you know, that's what I'm looking at, uh, a fence that pretty much, um, I, I think, Come on, the layout is pretty much accurate with what we what we remember on that site. Is there actually a granite bound on the inside where the, inside mm -hmm. of where the fence will be? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. There's one. that one that's you see the one that's I in. I think those are flush though. Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay, it's yeah, flush. Yeah, they are. It okay. is a fairly flush. And then there's a couple that the, the, the only yeah, one that's right. not marked here is the one that's out towards the left hand end. There's another one that was out towards the left hand end. It's not that? That no, there is one there. There's another one that's further in towards the par property line. 
It's in, in here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says typical that, five, see and that, I only see four. Curve. Yeah. Yeah, so it's somewhere in here. It was behind a tree or something like that, so they, they, they moved it. The fence posts, um, are they dug in or will the cement be used uh, for that? I believe they're dug in um, based on my initial conversation with uh, the gentleman Barry that will be doing the work. So one of the requirements that we'll have in the order is that um, any uh, spoils from any hole that's dug and any cement that's not in the hole can't be cast into that back area, right. even though it's like pretty private yeah. on the fence there now. But just make sure he understands that, or that, that company understands that. You know, it's it's, it's not it's not for that. Um, so I'm, I'm sure the, the amount of dirt you're taking out of that hole should be about the same as it's going back in. Okay. So. Do we have any questions from members of the commission? I, yeah, I had one more. So part of <laughs> the part of the. Uh, regulations for the uh, Wetlands Protection Act is you need to allow access. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't have to be continuous. You can have it in a couple of spots, but how close to the ground is this fence going? And is, is there, is there going to be a couple areas where it's at least four inches above the ground? Um, there can be, yeah. Another, another thought that with this was doing um, chain link or uh, on the back side there mm -hmm. along the, the conservation land would that make a difference in terms of we don't have in addition or yeah so the, so sorry. this right now this back porch of the fence is the plan is for the yeah, six foot vinyl which I assume would be flush as close to flush to the ground as possible yeah I mean four inches is what that much yeah so I mean we could do that if necessary um, but the other thing that uh, the gentleman proposed was doing chain link along this here just so you have visibility into the, the conservation land out there um, and you're not completely blocked off from the woods uh, what you put up is up to you um, Maybe the you access needs to be at the base okay and so um, yeah, it wouldn't be a six foot chain link fence though. No, no, it would be like yeah, a four foot yeah, chain link yeah. fence. That would be. If, um, so if you if you go with the vinyl in the back. Yeah. It, what do we tip? What would we typically want? Do we do you want continuous? No. No. Like no, every twenty feet. feet. So I I assume yeah, that so I think that would probably naturally happen just based on I mean it's not perfectly flat and the plan is for that fence to be level. Yeah. So I'm, I have to imagine that there will be places where there is that four inch gap. Yeah, there's usually, I would say there's usually a gap, and what ends up happening is the fencing company sometimes uh, fill it in. Okay. So, you, again, you're going to have to tell them not to yeah. fill it in. So, I've seen, right. uh, I've seen pressure treated wood under there. I've seen pieces of vinyl just put there. Okay. Um, but we're just looking for something like a two foot wide opening, and if it does it naturally, that's best. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, right with that. 134 line comes across there. Yeah, right there. There's, there's exactly. A, there's a bump there. I guarantee you, you yeah. four inches under the fence there. Okay. So, okay. I, I don't I think there'll be any tougher. problem with that. As long as there's something, maybe there's something in here. It's a little wide. I don't know. If it's not there, they'll make their own. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Anything else? No. Do I have a motion? Make a motion for negative determination. Second. All those in favor? Great. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, Chuck, now the 10-day... You have the same thing. 10-day yeah. appeal. Did, um, like I said, good. if you, if you talk to the you know, neighbors and stuff, no one showed up as in a butter. I, I talked to the, the Pangs, and they were fine with it. He initially thought the fence was going around the entire property, which he was concerned about. I think that's your only issue. That's but. the only side that's within a butter. The yes. town is okay with it, and the Pangs, as long as they're okay with it, you could, you know, it's at your own risk. Yeah. But it seems like it, it would, you know, it's, it's up to you, but it seems like it might, you know, it might be on your side. Perfect. Okay. 
Thank you, guys. Again, Thank I'd you like to, you to have the order before we yeah. you mail it to you. You can pick it up. Can you? So when we mail it, we do it certified mail. Let's mail it. Okay. Just Please. so you know. Certified mail you, means you have to be there, right? Inside for it. No, or you have to pick it up at the uh, post office. Okay. So, okay. so you basically that little green, green. Let's. Thing. I'll have my wife pick it up on Friday. We're not. You're not open on Friday. Friday. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, we're open. We have someone here at seven o'clock um, every morning, not Friday, and then we're here till seven o'clock on Tuesdays. Can I pick it up Monday morning? That's sure can. All right. You'll be in the pickup um, bin. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you guys. Yep. Have a good night. Good night. You too. Let's okay, sure. uh, sign some of these before we move on. I have both prepared. This first one is. Uh, can you add to that, that one? If so. You can write on this, just not on the page. Oh, I shouldn't be the one writing. Yeah, I can write. You can, after you sign, just tell me what you want on here. Oh, my God. This is the boardwalk and gravel path. Sorry. So uh, let's talk about conditions as you guys um, are signing that. What conditions would you like? So you've got the bittersweet, um, O&M, and m and just giving it to both the, the church and Athanasius yeah, and Sawtell Hospice. I read you say sand. No salt. Sand, no salt. Sand, sand no salt. Yeah. Wasn't there one more? Remove trash. Remove mm -hmm. trash. trash. He was going to do that anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's how his proposal. Oh, wow. So, uh, cut the bittersweet. Uh, I'll have an operation maintenance plan uh, for the gravel path, and that will have to go to the maintenance departments of both the church and the Sartell House. Um, uh, no salt on the path, and I will actually say do not shovel into the stream bed, and then remove the trash. Anything else? Do you need to go out there? Um, that's. That's already in. Already in. Yeah, so I do the final inspections on pretty much any project okay. that comes through. Is it done? You know, um, just going in them. And he, he may figure it out, but the bittersweet he may not figure out like which what he has to take down and how much. He's not taking it down. He's just well, cutting it. Cutting it. He's just cutting it. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's way, this tree, this is one of like 60, 70 feet tall, and it's all the way up to the top already, and some of the bittersweet's like that, so he's, if he just walks around two or three trees, it'd be great, but you really could do the whole place. That's the thing is, Chuck, a lot of things, that uh, if you want, I'll go out, <coughs> that when he does that, I'll go out and paint my... Call Dave, you're gonna, you're actually gonna be busy, but you, <laughs> but, well, that scout came in, Ben, yep. did he contact you? No. He will be. He's he's crunched for time and yep. he's he's already picked up the material, so he's eager. Yeah. Uh, but I'll put you down if you get time. Uh, yeah, no, I have no problem. Well, my, I can mark it for him, so he's not searching for it. Yeah. Um, make it easier for him to mark, and then you can just cut it off. Okay. This one is uh, Tyler Allen. It's the fence we just talked about. If you come up with some. Conditions. Just um, that if the vinyl is chosen for the back, that there's some openings. Yeah. And not to uh, cast any concrete or dirt back beyond the fence. Yeah. The uh, thing that was submitted with that from the fence company. It actually does say that the, uh, the posts are, uh, final posts are all 5 by 5 posts set in mixed concrete. 
it says on this fence, the fence contract. Yeah. So Chuck, we don't. What's going on with eleven for Lane? Uh, they continued. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So um, the last minute, I think it had a little bit to do with the plan. You know, discovering the date of um, the stormwater detention area. And Meadowbrook has continued as well. Meadowbrook, I did not hear from. So, but no, we should continue well, for them. Well, it's after 7.30, yeah. so I think. We can continue for them, but I didn't hear from them. That's not an RDA. I usually make a courtesy call. That's not an RDA, right? Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Oh, because most of the work is outside. They're pretty far away. Yeah, yeah it's far. not. It's, there's, yeah. The impact is nothing, and we're getting a benefit. I so. make a motion to continue RDA 2017 10. Second. All those in favor? Yeah, it's uh, been the date's going to have to be changed on any subsequent. Uh, I mean, it's probably why they're not here. They're going to be confused. Yeah. What well, it says it's request to September 11th. <laughs> so I think that's been on the last three agendas. You want to do the order conditions? Well, oh, that's oh, right. Nice. But you want to move on to Green Street? Um, the people for the order conditions are going to be showing up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So let's your, talk about Certificate of Compliance 270-0662-154 Green Street, Map 17, Lot 214, Federer. It, um, Joe, did you sign in in the back? And then do you want to present this? I, I yes. did want to tell you uh, a couple of things. Sure. I did not receive the form 8A. So which would, I submitted it. Which, yeah, so I was thumbing through the paperwork. I may have misplaced it, but I looked everywhere and I didn't find that. I remember you coming in with the plans mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you, gave, you gave me six of each. Yep. And no, that was the same time. Mm -hmm. The next, the fall, the the. So the day case. before was the engineering uh, letter. Uh, they got revised. That, uh, and we didn't get this email. Um, I, I believe he was emailing to you. Um, he, it, unfortunately, he's been mailing me stamps of coffee, but. I didn't, I, didn't want to revise. I didn't get the revised one. Right, he's uh, he's, e he's going to be emailing it to you and uh, sending you uh, the stamped one. Um, and the form A day, we filled it out with my attorney, Josh Latham. So. I think I have creams. Okay, so um, I can just contact Josh if I miss it. Uh, well, I mean, the engineer uh, filled it out and then mm -hmm. we submitted it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could do it again if you like. I mean, but I'm, I'm yeah, we're gonna have pretty to track sure that we down. did submit that. Yeah. I mean, it might be mixed up in the all the plans I got. <laughs> so it might be in the DS or not. Mm. Uh, Do you want a plan? Yeah. This is uh, the latest plans that we've received. Do you want to share this? Cool. Yeah, we'll share this one. Okay. I one. So, yep, we got, we got everything. And we got it on the board. Um, okay. You got the final form, too? I'm, well, you know, the form is just an application. I know how to get all the material together off the original notice of intent application. So I did that, except that I would need the book and page number. Okay. So that was that was the one. Um, I could have Josh with me. But I would also also like um, <laughs> the form. Yeah. So. Um, um, did, do I stand up for that? Introduce myself. You can sit or you can stand. It's, okay. it's all it's all good. Okay. Uh, well, I apologize for my tardiness. I had a loss in the family. Sorry. Um, you know, give you that information. My name is Joe Federa. I'm with uh, GG Real Estate Development um, for 156, uh, 154, 156 Green Street. And uh, this is basically. Um, what we have here is a sorry, so uh, the Asbel plan is here with the sill stop that goes around here. 
this perimeter of the property. Um, which starts here. We uh, I spoke to um, Chuck, and we I put established grass all along uh, the sole sock, starting from the front of the property here. Um, along that edge and uh, it comes around and it covers uh, the slope, the elevation slope of uh, uh, that 195 uh, marker um, and uh, about two feet beyond the 35 foot buffer zone. Um, and it's all sawed all the way down to the sill sock. Um, we remove that slab of concrete that was back there and you see it here where we have the sill sock. Uh, we cover it in loom and uh, sod as required on the plan. <clears throat> and we took down an elm tree that was uh, rotted out uh, and replaced it with an elm tree and put sod around it. Um, I'm going to get uh, to the, my question in a minute, <laughs> see if you guys will be okay with it. Uh, doing the rest of uh, the rest of the yard um, in hydro seed since we have established uh, sod um, beyond the 35 foot buffer zone and it's uh, completely covered all the way down and around the, the whole perimeter of the property. It's here. Um, there is a fence that was installed. Um, uh, the people that are uh, purchasing the property um, and they did infringe on the 100 foot buffer zone and there's a uh, nine posts there that <coughs> were installed as a vinyl fence um, uh, that was uh, unintentional and if you like we can remove it and then come back um, or if it would be okay if we can keep it that would be fantastic um, also we planted a tree Another elm tree within uh, 154 <coughs> in the back here, and it's very similar to the one in the front. Um, and oh yes, uh, everything we uh, was uh, surveyed. We put in the uh, <coughs> storm drainage. Um, we have the topography here, uh, stamp by an engineer and uh, surveyor. Um, and we fulfilled our, uh, our um, comprehensive permit. But my question would be the fencing uh, was installed there. Uh, I hope it's just a minor issue. And if we could just, uh, you know, um, uh, hydro seed the, the rest of the soil in the front of the house. So that would be my, um, so my question for the board. I just pulled um, the. the Chuck's folder that happened to be next to me, so I just pulled the the plan I think you have up, up there. Yes. Uh, I was just looking, sure. and, and you can see it at the site, and sure. I mean, you can see it just based on how the contours are drawn here. I think originally, you know, right now it, it's a pretty steep slope off the back side there, and I think originally that 197 contour was pretty close to the house, and then it was just going to gradually slope down towards the island. It, it looks like that was... I mean, that, you know how, how steep that slope is right now? Uh, I mean, it's it's not drastic. I mean, uh, you can see it here. It has a slope right itself. Yeah. I mean, right here. I mean, it's, it's not super drastic. I mean, um, you guys want to level lower? Is that what you're saying? Like pitch lower? Well, so I, I in particular, you, you kind of see that one, yeah. I mean, that That's in the front of the house here, outside the 35 foot buffer zone. That's in the front of the house here. That's where the deep, steep slope is. But with the 35 foot buffer zone, it's fairly really level. And this is where it is right here, where that bump out is. And, and it, is, it is a gradual slope. And, uh, you know, you saw that the whole area um, into the sill sock. There's a 12 inch sill sock there also. You, you realize you're in jurisdiction with 100 feet from the wetland, not just 35. Right, correct, correct. yes. So, so I think, Mike, wouldn't that um, steep slope be within yeah, the 100-foot jurisdictional oh. area? Mm -hmm. Everything, the 100 the jurisdictional area is the 
Uh -huh. Basically, yeah. 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 Okay. Quarters of the property. Uh, right. One ninety-five. Okay. Uh, originally, we had when we had one ninety-four originally here. Yeah. So you've got and basically three feet of soil, right? One ninety. Um. One ninety. Here. One ninety-four. Here. Ninety-seven. Uh, one ninety-five. Yeah. In this area, and we uh we have one ninety-four. I mean, I'm looking almost where you've got the the property line coordinate, the, the boundary coordinates. You know that that 197, how it creeps out there, basically right to the almost to the property line, okay. and then and then drops down, and that was going to be right around 194, 194 and a half uh, originally. So I mean, it's it's a pretty steep slope, and I think that's that's kind of where we're essentially where we're looking right right there, right at the edge there. Uh, uh, your staff, you want to see if we can shave it down a little bit. I mean, I guess, was there a reason to fill it? Well, I mean, um, the, the reason being is just to give it more of a, um, an even uh, surface, but the, the, I mean, when you have steep slopes like that, it, it's, um, it, it's, uh, it, it doesn't really blend in with the, with the, with the, uh, Especially on that edge here, it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really level off properly because there is a slope on the other side where the other property is here. I'm not sure what that elevation is. Um, I think I think we don't typically like a two to is that a two to one two to one slope is that um, so I did read did you put our soil? regulations and it it says that three to one is what we we like two to one you would need an engineer to tell you that it's going to be installed properly. So what do you have on this slope? It doesn't is, say you can't is do that, it. Yeah. Is that sod? Yeah, it's sod. It's home with established sod, yes. Rooted. Doesn't it create an issue with the neighbors too, with the just all the water coming off and then basically you're a little bit higher over there? I'm, I'm not, I, my recollection is they're kind of doing the same thing. <laughs> they're building it up. There's an easement in between those two properties. Um, I think they're building it up on one side, and you know Joe built it up on his side. Um, and there is a, we did install a 12 inch soil sock too. Um, so when did you put that saw in? Uh, we put it in on um, Friday, was it? So the, the thing is, we, we sold. We already sold. No. The thing is, we already sold both units, and I have uh, the people that are purchasing it living in a hotel room. With for their children. Um, so that's why we, we we got the occupancy permit and, and you know, we laid out the landscape. So what's the reason they can't live in the, they have an occupancy on both, right? Well, the bank won't, I mean, until we until we close uh, the land court. And you get your certificate of compliance? Yes, the bank wants a certificate of compliance, correct. And I can't close without the certificate of compliance uh, because it is registered land in the land court. So. And both That's a new twist. So I, I ne uh, yeah, has just, I've before? never heard that before. Uh, it's, 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 it's what it is, I'm yeah. Sure, so. Yeah. And he had, and you know, Josh, uh, Josh looked into it. Hmm. So, no, I, I didn't know that, but you know, usually it's not registered land, it's just a project on someone's property. So the, the project that comes to mind with how this currently is, is um, with Al's. Sandborn Lane. Sandborn Lane that we, we held for a really long time because the grass hadn't established. Right. There, there was erosion all over the place and we wanted to make sure that it was it could actually weather uh, the conditions. Um, and we, we held that until we actually saw that there was some sort of condition. We had let others go. I mean, that was a very different situation. People were living, were able to move in, were able to live there, and then they continued at that point. But that was a, a one where we didn't close and I, I just see a lot of similarities here. You know, I, I'd like to see yeah, that this I, is actually I'm, performing. I don't have a problem with the hydro seating. I think the hydro seating would be fine because mm -hmm. it's still warm enough October 50, right. you know, it's okay. But it, you don't have any established grass. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm seeing, it looks like the issue with the vinyl fence also doesn't have any openings either. It, 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 uh, it has a gate in the back. No. Oh, what do you, what Opening at the bottom? Yeah. 
Is that what you're thinking, Chuck, as well? Well, well that, that land is uh, elevated at 199. No, uh, oh, okay. oh, you the openings, the openings <laughs> underneath it to allow, allow uh, amphibians oh, yes. and animals to c cross underneath. Uh, Typically, if someone came came in front of us, so this just happened with the project that was just in here. Sure. If somebody comes in front of us, uh, put in a fence within our, our jurisdictional area. One of the things that we usually always hit on is making sure that there's some space between sure. the ground and the bottom so that animals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with a shovel and you know, two guys, fifteen minutes, and six inches on there. Yeah. So maybe we could, we could look into that. I mean, that seems simple. It's so um, to to dig the fence. I don't I don't think we'd have to remove the fence. We just have to yeah. modify I, yeah, it a little bit <laughs> around the edges. Yeah, you can yep. make some openings. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I can. I mean, that's that's not a problem. Two guys, a couple shovels, get that done. As a matter of fact, sometimes fences are help. They they, they create a nice little delin th their own little delineation. <laughs> and, and I think. Yeah. Both those units are going to have kids in them because they saw a lot of toys and things like that around. Um. So you have you have people living in the left hand side. Uh, I have uh, yes, there's people living here, but they uh, as of right now they're just tenants. Um, so I have a lease for them while they're waiting um, for documentation to close. Uh, and then the other unit just has their stuff moved in. Uh, they have furniture, clothing. Um, they just basically live in the luggage as of right now. Was there a bond with this project? Is this a two family house? I didn't look into this. Um, <coughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be. Um, I was thinking of that too. But for, it gets returned on. No. Because it's does, it get, does it get returned when. We're allowed to hold 50%, right? I think typically, even when it's closed, if, if there was some sort of bond, because that's a way to, to make some sort of sh sure. insurance on our end. Right. Um, so no, I don't think we release the bond until after the certificate of compliance. Correct, but even after the certificate of compliance, don't we have the ability to still hold a certain amount for a period of time? Like, treasure. Well, you the, could. The, the, <coughs> well, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure because I think the certificate of compliance defines the bond circumstances. And once that document is closed, I think it's kind of, you know. Well, we maybe that might be the case, but we've um, gone ahead and we've we, done have, we, we have a. Uh, uh, a condition that allows us uh, to, you know, hold a bond. But that I, I think in this situation where there is none, if you are okay. thinking of a bond, you would just ask for one for the the entire for whatever if you made you felt self comfortable. Move. And I'm I'm comfortable with the bond, but I'm if if you guys are comfortable with the slope, that's that's yes. what I was wondering about because well, okay, we can I'm, wait and let the grass grow because it's steep. Yeah. And it's in our jurisdiction. And yeah, you got some yeah. sod. And yeah, I don't want to see. Well, erosion. so you've sodded the slope. You haven't sodded the area that's going to drain to that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's all, it's all dirt all the way up to that point. Um, so, so our area of concern is still not grassed yet. Um, um, it's shaded, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of the other things so, that I thought. So is it not grassed? When we did the site visit, is that it just looks it. I'm I thought sure. that they, you could have put more sod at the edge of the slope back. because if you've got a real heavy rain, there's a possibility that it could go right oh. to the edge because that's right at the crown. Yeah, your, your sod only comes to the edge of the crown, so that this, could get totally undermined and washed out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. this, but this picture tells a lot, like, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah so yeah. When, when you look at this area, it, if you get a big rainfall event okay. right in this area, everything wants to drain this way, right? Sure, sure. And and so. There's not a lot of, you know, it's right at the top of the slope and it, it'll, it goes down the slope, but there's not a lot of, there's not grass right now built up in this area to, to prevent that migration. Um, typically you want, you know, we really look for the whole area to be, to be grassed more than just the slope. I, you know, the storm water drain, um, is, does, does that, um, Collect the rainwater also? It doesn't so collect from the yard. No, it collects it from, from the house. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, but it does not drain into the river. Correct, so. yeah. 
Um, we can, yeah, we can, we can edge that off. And uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, see it all. I would personally feel more comfortable if we saw more gradual, a, a gradual slope right yeah. there, uh, just a gradual slope going right around that corner, mm -hmm. and then if you want to hydro seed that area, I, I think hydro seeding would it, it's fine with me. Um, but yeah, I think as it, it it's pretty steep right now, and I don't know that. And I, I, I somewhat remember this having this concern a little bit when it came before us because there was this 96, this is where I pulled the, the plan. I remember this 96 contour coming out and saying, well, we just need to fill that area out just to, to bury the, the infiltration uh, structure. But otherwise, there wasn't going to be any, any sort of filling in that area. And uh, it's not really where we ended up with. Well, um, yeah. the thing is, once we start digging, you know, Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, tore down just, a, you tore down a house, you tore down a whole house, house by the time we put everything shed, around. We added in, you know, it feels, we pulled out trees, we yeah. planted the trees, we put in storm systems, so it... It starts to feel just like it was always that way. I mean, we, we, you, you know, we have, the same area, we have the same area come out every once in a while, but you know, it's sometimes it's a little excess dirt, which is not a big deal. I mean, we have the equipment to do it. <coughs> um, my own concern is that... Uh, Having the families move uh, move in so we can move forward. And if you want to do some, so uh, we can get the work done. We do a lot of work in town. Uh, we did since the nineteen nineties. So um, I want to address this. We care about the sound. So. Yes. The trees. While while he's here, I, I know he has to apply to it. Yeah, I did talk to Joe about the trees, yeah. um, but maybe maybe you have a suggestion. I, Joe um, is, it's not something he wants to take care of. He's just oh. going to leave him. Okay. Because they, they were in the jurisdictional area, the one that's dead and then the one that's that's uh, had the bark peeled back. Um, and you would have to come before the commission to actually cut those down to get permission to cut the trees down. Uh, and where the hat, that hasn't passed, uh, you could ask and we could grant you the permission to cut those trees down okay because um, the one that the one that's on uh, on the in the backyard of 156 yeah. has about four feet of bark peeled up off the bottom mm -hmm. that's not going to come back this one that that's in the second picture from the bottom there too is has it been filled a little bit I, I don't know where that is or Oh. Where is this one? This picture? Yeah. See, see the one that's basically in the yeah. slope there? Has yeah. that been filled no. around? Yeah. That's going to that's gonna kill that, right? No, that's a, no, that has not been filled. Oh, okay. I mean, there was a dead elm tree that we have here that, you know, calls for removal. But as far as the other rotten tree, I mean, we never noticed it. Yeah, there's one on either side of that fence. Right. There's one pretty close to the fence. It's, a, it's an ash tree that's dead that's in the backyard of 154. It's only six inches inside the vinyl fence in mm -hmm. the backyard, uh, probably. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, in the backyard Wait, of 156. Wait, you say six inches from the fence? Away, six inches away from the fence? No, it's, uh, it's not in your view there because you're taking the picture. You, you, you're probably, if from where that picture is being taken in that second, if you stuck your, le your arm out to the left like that, you'd be able to touch the tree. It's, um, no, no, in, so in, 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 yeah, up, up this way towards the house. Towards, towards the, the house. house. Yeah, a little bit more. Probably where the, okay. you see the second second fence that, post is and there. It's rotted? It's dead. Okay. I, I, we didn't see that the first time, though. We did say, well, I'm just curious why. Yeah. Why would we have noticed that? Because we did notice the elm tree was dead here. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Yeah. And um, it, uh, there's another one that, uh, but that's. On the other side of that, and then the other uh, one has the bark uh, ripped off right. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and it, uh, the, the procedure would be to ask now, or come back. I, I I'm just suggesting that if you if you had had designed to take and doing something with those trees before you pass pass the pass papers on the property, then um, you could do that as the property owner now. Um, instead of the, the homeowners, they'd have to come before us and do it later. Uh, 
<coughs> so if I ask now, then uh, in, if we pass paper, I don't have to come back to another meeting? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll take care of it. You know, I'll, I'll be even more we'll, we'll back up. As long as it doesn't hinder, uh, you know, any time constraints. Uh, as far as passing. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So it's the, uh, the right one here. In the, in the middle of the bar. Yeah. Okay. And it's not salvageable? I really don't think that one's going to come back. No? You know, there's, there's a great deal of the bark that's on that that's peeled back. And, oh, wow. and okay. when you look at where it's peeled back, it hasn't tried to, to heal back. Okay. Okay. Um, that's not a good sign. So okay. I think that's, it's, it, it's maybe not totally dead now, but it's heading that way. Okay. Yeah, we can take it down. But the, one that's, the one that's on the other side of the fence is, it's got no leaves on it at all. It, which, okay, uh, which is surprising to me because we noticed the elm tree before. Oh, yeah. you know what? There was a shed there blocked oh. last time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. There was a shed. Yeah, there was a shed back here. Yeah. I didn't go back there, guys, but I think part of the uh, order was to remove a bunch of like the trash and uh, yes. back there. So was that all taken out? And yes, the slabs right here. Uh, we took out the slabs, cleaned it up, put that room and fresh saw. You guys just see the that photo there, right in the top corner. Was there other trash back there? Right there. Where the sill yeah. is. There was, but it was. It's not on this property. I oh. think it's on the. Oh. It's yeah. on outside of this property. Yeah, was there's like there's some um, tree uh, limbs on, on this property. Not as much that I mean, your right. eye would be drawn to the other one. The other right. guy seems to be starting a lumber company <laughs> at the end of his yard. But um, there's there's some there's some on this property. So I have, a, I have a list of things that we discussed. Slopes, the trees, hydro seeding. One thing we didn't discuss um, was uh, the overflow on the downspouts. Uh, Joe told me he doesn't have a problem putting those in. And I don't know if anyone else in the commission understands what I'm asking for, but he, there's the downspouts that go right into the infiltration chamber. And usually there's this overflow gate on Special. the downspouts. Especially right. during icy. icy yeah, so. Right. And I didn't see them there. And I asked Joe to show me if they were on it. I didn't and see them. We, didn't, we didn't see them. So that would be one of the things I would add to my list. And then it's the yard waste, which I would like to get picked up because no one else will ever do that. So yeah. you were added onto here? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that's the side that it would go on, but it would it would go on everyone that's right. going into the infiltration that's chamber. Sort of, yeah, this is that's what we did. And I there. definitely have a detail on that from some other plan we got from uh, someone. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty typical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my, so what I'm saying is, when we talked about a bond. How do, you, how do you guys want to proceed with the, that basket of, uh, of things? Slopes, trees, higher seating, um, gutter overflow, yard waste, and bond. That's, that's, that's so significant. There's a decent amount of things on this list. Right. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm reluctant to. All right, so what are, we, what are you asking about the slopes? We want that plan. Want you want it to? Three to one. Three to one. And the trees can be removed under these yeah. permits. I haven't. Uh, One I tree is completely that. dead. So yeah, the yeah, other tree will think? die. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine He's with planted that. two trees. I think we were owed one, so we did an additional tree. Okay. I think, you know, there's not much room. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't really have an issue with that. Hey guys, um, yeah. sorry. I want you guys, yeah. did you hear any of that? Kind of going through what we're looking fine. for. Mm -hmm. The overflow on the gutters, right. uh, we're going to ask for that. Clean up the yard waste in the back. I can, I can point that out. It's really not a lot, but it's directly in back of where you are. So if uh, yard is, uh, it's right here, if you look at the screen where I'm, where I'm pointing, right here. Oh, inside the wetlands. Yeah, and there might okay. be some 
a little bit in there. But mm -hmm. even if it gets, you know, like man, I saw a blue flag there. and I don't know. There's, but it, but it's out there. Yeah, so I'll check it, and then so it's the yard waste, and the one I didn't check off was the hydro seeding. So if we got the three to one slopes and removed the two trees and we installed those overflows for the for the system and remove the yard waste would you ask for a bond or if you can get this done by the next meeting you're, you're are we hydro seeding and then signing or are we hydro seeding waiting for grass to establish are we going to ask for a bond you could ask, I mean, that's up to so, you. You could ask for a bond. So I think the alternative to, to keep it moving, because I, I think I would like to see, without knowing what the, the new slope looks like, I, I think it should be okay, but it, it's tough to say, well, we don't need to see it hydro, we don't need to see the grass come in without actually seeing. We don't usually do that. So you could get around that by saying, look, we'll have a bond. Exactly. And then, I, I think that's what I, I think to, that's it easier, is, that's probably going to be better for the applicant. It's right. taken a couple of weeks for um, some seed, a uh, couple houses down from me, but it actually is looking pretty good. Um, so it will take a couple of weeks. It's going to take a few weeks, so yeah. why wait for that if we can have some sort of bond and just say, well, we're, it's covered and that way we can close it for them. So uh -huh. the bond at this point, if all that other work would be done, would only be for erosion control because we wouldn't have, we wouldn't need to have like a operator get in there and knock the knock the edge off right. that uh, slope. Correct. So, I mean, that's, that's, and I think the hydro seed is, I, I guess I've seen it dry out a couple of times, but usually it comes in, especially now. Um, all right, let's, so, Joe, do you understand what's going on? So basically you guys will accept it with a bond and we have to just, uh, get all that, uh, the list of work completed. You have to knock down the edge on that yep. area. Okay. It has to be three to one. Okay. Or you here. can grade it out all okay. the way through here. Well, I'm glad I didn't hide this together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least you can get down the trees. And I think when that happens, and you, and you can once when you're in there, you could remove the trees. Um, yep. I mean, I don't think that one tree has a possibility of living. There's one is. But we're still alive making, at this point, but we're not making the trees conditional. That's just something where, right? We're not making that conditional. If you want to do it, you can. It's right. not part of. If you, if you don't want to do it, it's. Um, you don't have I would respect the way it'll do it. No. Okay. And then you're going to hydro seed, uh, add those gutters, um, overflow, and then pick up the yard waste. And if you can get that done by the next meeting, you should be in good shape. So I, I don't get the certificate with the bond. Is That's that what I'm hearing. We're not no. we're not issuing a certificate tonight. Oh, we even with the bond. Even with the bond, yeah. because we're, the bond would be to cover if if the high proceeding didn't take and you had a lot of erosion issues out there. If there's a you know huge rainstorms. Typically, we would wait for this whole area for all of the grass to come in. And, and be, be so even the area that's beyond the, the banks there, all of the grass, we would want to see all of that in. Okay. Um, so, so if the house sold in like December, uh, how would how would that work? Well, if it was snowing, I'm not sure. That would have to wait till the springtime to come to concert. They're not holding you up because the grass isn't growing. They're holding you up because you have a slope out there that's Correct. not what we asked for. They're asking you to knock it down. If you would come in here with one one issue, which was the fact that the grass isn't growing, I think we would have moved forward. But there's other things going on out there. So if you just hydro seed it, it's fine. Um, I don't hear that the commission would hold up you moving forward with that. I mean, I'm hoping that since it's in the middle of the month and maybe leases go month to month, that you can get this done. That's, but that's really not my end of things. So I, it's well, not. So if, 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 uh, when's the next meeting? In the next meeting is the 27th? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. 27th. Can I ask something else so that he's not going away and having to come back again? The 25th. 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 Does he have to apply for a minor plan change for the fence? Okay. Um, he, I, he, he, sh he should to, to, to get it all correct. 
Or should we just we should just add it to should we just add it? I mean right. yeah, yeah, actually. So yeah. you're right. We could just yeah. add it. Could we add it to the conditions? Yeah. For the also that it, it you need to put some spaces in there too. Uh, uh, underneath I mean, that fence. Right, I don't want to have him come back and say, oh, you didn't apply for the minor plan change, and then have it go again. I want to make sure that you know, he comes to back in two weeks if he does all that work and we can aid. Well, even when there's a, you know, as a matter of fact, I was just uh, thinking about this. Even though when there's an open order, we use a minor plan change to make a change, not we don't just add it. Yeah. So we're, we're back to, yes, he does need a minor plan change Okay. for the fence. Does he have to make application for that? Can we do that as part of the condition of the order conditions that we're yeah, going to sign? Yeah, no, that's not a big deal. That's just an email. It's usually just as quite simply just an email saying this is a change I want to make. Okay. It doesn't have to be on. Well, I mean, isn't he officially presenting it to us right now? He is. So yeah. can, we, can we make a motion to? You can. Make a motion to accept the six foot vinyl fence that's shown on the, the plan with the condition that we want to create some Spaces at the in the ground. Second. All those in favor? Okay. All right. So we, we covered that. <coughs> so what I would even say, I, I mean, because this last we would in the normal process of closing. Chuck has to prepare the certificate of compliance as well. I mean, oh. um, yeah, it's it's true, I, and I, I just think that you know we're really, but I did prepare it, so it, it is here. Oh. But we we have we bits a lot. We have bits and pieces of, of things. I needed I need, I would need some more information <coughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, but and one of those things is that plan that that he mailed. All right, so that was the the final revised plan, or this no? Wait a minute, the final that? revised um, letter from the engineer showing, okay. yeah. The, so well, is that the one engineer that was uh, he was out sick in the hospital, so I had to get another engineer to come. Yeah, so this is just, just he, got a bunch he, of stuff. Just, just, like, he just had to add a sentence. So, that you want. There's still a couple things out there. I guess my thing would be, Chuck, we can have this ready to be signed at the next meeting, just so we're not. Assuming these things get done, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think there's there's still some things to get to get done. I, I think we've got a, the list that we can make the check marks, but I, I don't know that it's ready to be signed tonight. At least as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, I agree. I'm not, cons I'm not convinced to, to to issue tonight. It's a lot of work to be done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Check the hallway to make sure our other guys are not here. They are. Nice. Did they tell you they were coming in? They did. This is this is this is not here. That's not that's not true. What time did they think we would be ready to? Well, um, I uh, I told them seven thirty. It's well past that. Did they have issues with it? I, I sent it to them at 1.30. Mm -hmm. uh, I sent it to the engineer and the two developers, and I got a couple of things back. Um, I mean, I would assume that they're comfortable with it, but I, I think I have a phone number, so let's, let's uh, sure. I'm just going to give them a call. That's not the back in here. Did you get a chance to look through that line? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I, didn't look, I was looking on my phone, so I couldn't send you any comments. But I mean, there were still a lot of question marks. And Those are dimensions. Yeah, it was mostly it was mostly on like what is the area of the, yeah, the square feet. They're gonna have to give that to us. Okay. Otherwise, I don't have any issue. Um, the bond was five thousand. I wanted to talk about that too. That's kind of why I'm surprised. I'm just gonna step over here and give a call. What are we looking for then? Um, Franklin Street, Barton Estates. Yeah. This is not right. Green Street. Mm -hmm. The survey plan. No Barton no. Estates, that's a... So it's like it comes like a one to one. So that's one ninety seven. That's one ninety four. It says one ninety three is green here. That's the, that's the beauty of contours, right? 193 and a half and 196 and a half right, right there right. is really what you have. That's the beauty of how you contour it yeah. or, or how you, when you're doing it, right. you take shots and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, he had it up there. Yeah. But I, I pulled it from Chuck's thing. It is, this is two feet higher than it was yeah. on the. Uh, this is the one from 927. It has built from 927. 917? Yeah. This one here is 92717. Yeah. 17, right? Is yeah. Where I'm going to be able to see. No, they're comfortable. They're fine. They're fine. Oh, okay. And they'll give you the um, dimensions of, of those parcels? Uh, what we're going to do, I talked to him about that also, is um, instead of trying to like look through the order of conditions, I'll just grab them all, put them in an email, send them to Phil Christensen tomorrow and Bill Lombard. Okay. And he said that's fine. He has not a problem in doing that. And then I could just issue it. I still have some time. We closed it at the last meeting. I still have some time as long as I get it out by the end of next week. Okay. So I don't know if um, you guys take a minute and you can look through that. It's fine. I don't I sent it to you. Just oh, I can go on ahead. Yeah. Well, so did we, did we fix all like the, the numbers? You know, we've got a whole bunch of question marks in there. Yeah, but that's easy to fill those in. I mean, that's, he's just, I mean, I can't do that. I don't have a cat program. Uh, oh my goodness, I'll go look at this one. All right, so, well, Everything in red needs to be addressed. Addressed by them. By them. Okay. And but they don't seem to rise to the level of big problems. Like I didn't know if they were calling the spillway after that LID infiltration areas a level spreader. So I was kind of questioning is that the terminology they want to. I don't have the distance from the wetland to the edge of the wet level spreader. But that those are quick enough. I mean that's not a that's not a game stopper. And just the dimensions of how long is the easement, um, and then how big is the gift area? Is it an acre, is it is mm -hmm. it less than an acre? What's the square foot? The, so. the $5,000, what, what, what is, I mean, I guess this is an interesting project because they're, they're really out of, most of the work is outside mm -hmm. of our jurisdiction. Yeah. So what would that even cover? So for us, so yeah. for us, it would cover. Um, there's a span of time mm -hmm. that either the homeowners or the developer 
needs to maintain those LIDs on and they're throughout that project before the town accepts the road. Mm -hmm. We're likely to give back the money when the certificates of compliance come in for the two houses. And I wanted something for maintaining the road, maintaining vegetation, cleaning that out. If they didn't do it, and if the if the town didn't get to it, okay. because everything runs downstream, and this is this is something if a problem happened, it's more likely than not that it will cause an issue. So we would end up fixing it, and we're going to take kind of like extend our jurisdiction up the street, and just say that um, we want all of that taken care of. Okay. Um, Bill didn't have a problem with that. They didn't mention it. They said, hey pretty much what you said, you know, and we're doing a bond for engineering too, but I explained, uh, I explained Bethune Ave where yes, okay. we got left on our own. Yeah. All right. Um, and so at the end of the day, they're okay with it. And this is, that bond is likely to be the only one in place until the road is accepted. So the other two, I mean, depending on how you feel about them, you know, they can be they can be more, they can be less, but they're likely to be given right back as soon as the projects are done. That's that's kind of how I saw it. And then each one of the houses that have jurisdiction are going to have their own notices and notice file. Yeah, well. each one. I mean, and and you don't have to put a bond on it. I mean, it it, it it's not. I mean, there's a lot of space back there, you know, we've all been to the sites. But, and again, the bond ends up being for vegetation, erosion control, and that's less, <coughs> less, less, and less as things get finished off. So, I didn't have any other issues, that was... Um, What's that? Did you guys review it? I'm on Okay. So, um, make a motion to issue the order of conditions for. It's 48 and 54 Franklin Street. What truck is that? SNL Homes, 270 Second. All those in favor? Okay. Do we have something to sign, Chuck? Yeah, I've got it's right, right there. It's page. 12 or 11. Before the Conservation Commission, I have two dead trees in the back of my yard. I believe that they're what species on. I believe they're black spruce. I dr I I dug them. There's a little history. I dug them out of my father's backyard in Maine, and they've been sitting there for about 25 years. And they were doing really well. And the one in back started getting sick, and there's nothing on it now. And the other one. This I gave it three a couple of years to live, and it just uh, it's getting worse. So it's I feel bad because you know, it's kind of a heritage, and it actually makes a nice you know back 
you know, part of the landscaped area. And it's, there's a um, drainage ditch that comes off of Bear Hill Road, goes under the summer hill. And um, so there's a lot of water that comes back down there. But, <clears throat> and that, I guess that would be jurisdictional, but what really is jurisdictional is <clears throat> as it, it leaves the, that back part of the property, it bleeds out beyond <clears throat> the stone wall and there's wetland back there. Yeah, so it's about 20, 25 feet from the last. Um, oh, there we are. Which oh. house? Uh, Remind me what number? Summer? 550 Summer Island. Thank you. Let me get the wetland overlay. You might be able to see it. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to know that. I can shut this as a piece off and you can see it better. Yep. But that's not accurate. Mm. It's like yeah, but the the, um, the trees are right here. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll just mark it up. I think the uh, the wetland is really, you know. Oh, it. it Okay, so <laughs> can you, can you really put lower it down for yeah. those who can't reach up too high. So I think it's uh, King Dry, yeah, right across there is pretty much where I call it. <laughs> this is this is all jurisdictional. <laughs> Scroll, yeah. See this? The, yeah. Nah, it's back here. What 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 happens is right about here, it starts going. And yeah, probably yeah. something like that. So it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know what the, what's going yeah. on with this thing, but yeah, see something two like that. Yeah. And and this mm, this might be even up further because. So Becky, roughly where are the trees? Yeah, about right here and here. Okay. See if we can see them on the themes. You want to set Google Earth? Do you see any yeah. trees? Do you know what year this was taken? 87, usually. 2015. Oh, 2015. Is it behind other trees? Well, these are the Norway maples. Okay, nice how things Because I think it's showing up on my Google Earth map here. And it's a. So are they both dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it would seem to me that you would you would um, fill out the you know go to the policy, fill that out, yeah. and send that in, and then even even so that you're you know the chair That's of the fine. conservation commission, you need to have your arborist See also That's tell good. us that they're dead. So, is it that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, I don't think that's necessary at this point. Is that my house? Yeah, that's your house. That's your back porch, your driveway. Well, she's not taking the trees down herself, I'm sure. Here, she's is that that a year? No, what year no? is that? I don't know what year Google Earth is, is they, doing this. They get pretty, uh, they get pretty, no, uh, but what? So you guys have like a private bit. conversation over there. I have, have all of TV land have, out there. Have, can you can you go zoom out? Oh, oh no, just see. see. Th this is the red maple. This is another red maple. No, that doesn't look too healthy. <laughs> that there's one <laughs> deep in. <laughs> that might be the 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 little yeah. pine tree. And there's one further in. And there's something back here. There's but nothing. You no, 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 that. no. That's uh, there's 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 some dead stuff back there in the wetland, but yeah. there are snakes. I was gonna say your neighbor's got something that looks weak. But anyway, don't forget. So two trees, I think. I think you should, guys, should come down and just torture me. <laughs> why, don't, why don't we do a site visit? <laughs> Seems like an NOI to me. <laughs> I think we're talking. 
Friday after work. Yeah, I have to. Night visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like anybody else, as long as she follows the tree policy, it's, mm -hmm. it's not right. an issue. Good. I just wanted to put you on those. Okay, thank you. So I, I'm just sending you an example of like the best one I ever received. So you can just follow that example. Okay. Pictures, a diagram, a great write up. She's supposed to set the standard. I deed it. Well, Check that's right. extremely helpful. No sense for doing everything twice. I mean, well, someone's done a great job. <laughs> Let everybody benefit from it. So, um, all right, two trees. Are you going to stop it too? What's the real project, though? That's what I want to know. Are we thinking about an addition coming up? There's a pool going yeah. 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 No, I actually shored the deck up. You did? Yeah, a little bit. She also, wants to, re to, she also wants to revisit what a structure is. She no. believes that... Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put the... I had never put the pool there. <laughs> yes, that's right. Didn't she start that conversation? And I did have a pool that died. I had a hot tub. Two of them. Oh. Got rid of those. Throw yeah. them in the table. Blood work. That's a you gotta keep out the chemicals. Huge yeah. well and complex so. out there. What? That is huge. That's a huge well and complex. Everyone oh, yeah. around there, there's so much action. I mean, this is, we were over here on Ash Street, you know, good, a lot of, a lot of work. We have... That right there on uh, uh, Brook Street, the back. Yeah. See where it goes up to the road? That's, yeah. That's all like a wet most of the time. Like a pond, yeah. 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 It's kind of stagnant too. I've gotten calls on it. You know, like it smells and all that. Yeah. Well, that's a station for you. But okay. We're here. So what else do we have? Anything else? Anyone else? Dave, you got anything to confess? Oh, you're probably in a dry area though. Do <laughs> So we've got two pretty decent projects starting, right? Tennessee gas and then uh Tennessee Gas, I sent out that notice that you guys come out. Uh, it's Monday, it's in two weeks, and she didn't send me a time. I didn't see a time on that, so I asked her for a time. Two weeks. What, what? Yeah, it's not this upcoming there? Monday, it's the following Monday. Was that the 20... 27th? No, 20, 23rd. Yeah, that's not right, the 23rd. What time is that? No time, to came to back, yeah. Say. yeah. But they're just going to go through it. But the that they're wetland scientists. I get a lot of email from him. I'd like to go out and meet him. He's going to be there. Norwalk, Matt Nor Norwalk, Nowak, Nowak. Yeah. Wasn't he here last time? He was. Yeah, but I want to see him in the field. <coughs> so. This is BSC, right? Is there? No, this is. Uh, he's the one that does it for the Tennessee Gas Company. So oh, oh, he's the one that's always that's here crazy. for Tennessee Gas. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. So it's not BSC that's going to be out. BSC will be there also if they're invited. They were they were there just. To, I asked her if there was going to be a monitor yeah. at that site, and they said that we're only we've only been asked to present this. So I think that's why uh, Matt is going to be there okay. to to kind of monitor what's going on. Um, it would be nice. Uh, if people can be out there. I thought he was like one okay. of their engineers yeah. or something. Just let us know what time. Yeah. What are you guys laughing about over there? Mark Twain say. Anything else? What's the other project? Um, try to keep it light. Your buddy Bill. Bill Manuel. Yes. Oh, that's supposed to be starting right. Mm, uh, Did that ever kick off? Yeah, he... You would expect that he said about a month that it would start, so maybe... Mm -hmm. Soon? Soon? Shoot. Should we put those uh, as like a regular agenda item just to... On site visits. Get updated. Should we go to Bill's every time we have a site visit? Well, you'll know when he starts. If we need to do that. I think it'd be good to do. Well, definitely when he starts. That early work, I mean, is... How do the site visits work? And I know that you are going to want to change them soon. Um, no, why? I thought you, in the winter time, you don't like to have them on Mondays. Oh, no. It was, it'll be Tuesday that I won't be able to do it. Okay, so 
Monday? Tuesday won't work. Yeah, we can do Mondays, or, but I was going to try to get more people yeah. in on it. So, so when is Monday it all of a sudden at 10 stop being easy for me? But I mean, everything stopped being easy for me. What, what about 9? Um, the closer to the one end of the morning is, good, is better for me. Yeah. Is that a problem with you for you when you come in? Are you supposed to? Because I know Tuesday. 9 o'clock seems fine, but I think any earlier would be would be tough. But you, you guys could go out on your own. Yeah. I try to get Pete like to stop for coffee. He wouldn't. So it's no sense me going out there. All. <laughs> yeah. So if we can move it to nine, that makes it a lot easier for me. Mondays work. Mondays and nine. Hey, will anything work for you, uh, Anika, to go? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Oh, should we um, just Skype closer it to nine? You? Closer to nine, I agree with Mike. I mean, but Tuesday it's wasn't working out there. Right? No, because I've got something going on Tuesdays starting at 9, 9 to 10.30. Something I'm committed to. So Monday would be better. <laughs> I'm doing work. this Tuesday thing for the next six weeks. So. So everyone kind of thinks Monday. Dave, do you have uh, I don't have anything, anything kind of works? No. Yeah, so you can even go the, the Wednesday. That, that would be the last day you could do it. Yeah, that, that would be right. I don't. I'd rather have a couple days to think about the site visits and then look at the. I think. I think sometimes it's good. I'd like to get back in the habit yeah. of doing site visit notes also, because um, I've been writing up something when it matters, uh, and adding them to the orders of conditions. But it was better to get them from the commission, because. Uh, something else I didn't have to do but maybe we could designate somebody to write those each each time yeah we could switch off yeah we yeah. can do that that was good plenty of templates for people have to we'll, we'll have a new with. member maybe if uh, if things work out so that'd be you know more opportunity and he does work fairly close yeah where is it where's the landscape Zen. Over. Maybe it's in Arlington, uh, Reading. I don't know. Did you meet him? I did. As a matter of fact, he came in to get a permit, and we started talking. And um, you know, I, I I don't know what happened, but anyways, he, he he I think he showed interest, and I said we're we actually are down a member. So, and then uh, I lost contact, and he actually came back to town hall and said. Is the conservation guy here because I he was asking me about getting on the conservation commission. So cool. he, it looks like he, he just moved to town. Yeah. I saw. What day do you want to change the uh, site visits? I mean, what date? In December? At the next one? Uh, um. We'll just Google one more. We'll just keep playing by ear. Wait a minute. Let me ask you guys. Well, let's let's do it. Let's do it the next. November first. Yeah. The first one in November. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll keep it at Tuesday for the next for the last meeting for in last meeting. October. So you get one more day off. Or I get to run around town trying to look at a couple sites. I didn't go over to Athanasius because I'd been over there before. I know what that area is like. I was surprised by that site. That Why? was just the drainage ditch was, uh, it looked like it was freshly cut. Uh, you know, there was no erosion. Uh, it was full of trash. It was right. trash from the landscapers all throughout there, logs and whatnot. Okay. I mean, I thought it would be too much to ask the scout to clean up some of that but there was a lot I don't know if he hospice necessarily side. knows all that he's in for but yeah no that's all that's, that's, that's just that's what I said to you when we were out there yeah so it's a big project mm -hmm. so it's a good thing it is might have some scout friends to help him mm -hmm. well I need a lot of scout friends to help yeah him. yeah 
pretty busy the next few weekends. <laughs> yeah, they don't have too much. Yeah, he's him and the kid Ben. Um, so Ben, who is doing Pinevale, is um, he's met up with with uh, Al, and they purchased all the material. And I kind of lost track of what's going on, whether Al has taken on that project himself or Ben is, you know. Oh. But they bought the material, and. Um, He's going to contact Dave about engraving the sign. He has some ideas, and he's worried about time. So his ideas have to do with um, the. He thinks he, his idea may be quicker than, you know, what, how you were going to do it. Um, I think he only has to the end of this month to uh, to finish, and he's pretty close. The gravel was um, dropped off. And he spread it out, him and some friends, and he's cleaned up some of the trails, and he's identified one that uh, would be a good trail to, um, to walk uh, that has no stumps and it's pretty smooth, and there's a walking group that goes around town, and so he's going to contact um, Health and Human Services for, and, and let them know about that. And I don't know how he's done on the advertisement, which was one of the things he wanted to do, put up a sign to get more people there. <coughs> But I know that he's running out of time, so it may get a little bit modified. And one of the things he's doing this weekend is he's going to uh, U Maine to check out the school. See if he wants to go there next year. Cool. So, yeah, they're all well on their way. They get right down to the last minute, and they, you know, just once you uh, age out, it's it's over. But, um. Uh, we've got we had two not that long ago that went into appeals what's the status with each of those that went into what the two projects that went to the uh, EP for that were appealed one Arcadia, Arcadia Ave oh and, um, okay um, I, sorry I changed direction no I was like um, and thinking, line. And <laughs> 44 wrong line what's the status with those what was the other one Arcadia. 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 So Arcadia was a minor project change. That's <coughs> already been approved. That was already done. approved. That was approved yeah. by the Conservation Commission and by DEP okay. with those modifications. Right. And remind the me, the project what hasn't started yet. For I have no idea why, and it might be because they're still talking about that section of land over by Arnold Ave and how it got onto the how they own it yeah it might be that it, might, it could be something totally different yeah. mm -hmm. so I haven't been updated in a so long that time project doesn't, doesn't that's not moving now and after all those site visits Rome Lane ended up being a superseding order of conditions right why don't you should mention Rome Lane Go into executive session just because of Roma Lane or no. no. <laughs> um, so I was contacted by an attorney twice who asked me some questions about he did ask me a bunch of what if questions. Okay. And um, he so it, it turns out that I asked so the, what I thought would work would be you know, to come into the commission and, and everybody talk about it and then give them some direction and possibly everyone be involved and who would delineate the property the next time. Uh, I, and I thought he agreed to that and I didn't hear from him for a while. Then he did call me last week or the week before, week before that, and said that they had gotten at the new delineation by somebody else and he was he wanted to show it to me. So they'll be coming to town hall tomorrow, and I'm going to meet with them. And Julie Mercier, which is uh, community planning and planning director, uh, sorry Julie, um, we'll meet with them uh, and just to see this project, uh, just to, to see the delineations. I have no idea what he's going to ask. It's not unusual that someone would show a plan uh, 
try to bring it to the commission. Yeah, you see them all the time. So, I don't know anything beyond that. I even asked who, so I asked his lawyer who, who the delineator was, and he said, well, I'm using the phone that the information's on, so I can't give it to you. So. Remind me what DEP came, concluded about that appeal process. Can you just refresh my memory on that? In, in one word, or should I elaborate? Just, you know, did they, did they just kick it back? You know, did, what was their finding? <coughs> they, they, uh, they, their finding was for the applicant. And okay. they approved, um, Boxwell. Bo yeah. Boxwell's, yeah, basically. The, the one that was, the one that was outside of the stone wall. Yeah, yeah Ox right, line. The far side of the stone wall. And it was because of vegetation? For a lack of vegetation, vegetation? And, soils. <coughs> and soils and the lack of knowing what they're doing. Cats. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's uh, it's funny how you mentioned that, but no, that's that'll happen tomorrow. I looked at my capture today and I said, oh, I forgot all about that. So, so that and then I'm going there. out. I'm also going to uh, Strawberry Lane tomorrow. And they want to do, this is, it's really complicated because Strawberry at 14, um, they have the pool, so the, and there's no room, so the entire back is messed up. It's like no grass, right. and it's rough access roads on both sides of the house, at least when I was out there two weeks ago or so, and uh, they want to get a certificate of compliance, and they want to get uh, signed off on their occupancy. But they really weren't ready for their occupancy. That was that was pretty much coming up now. So it was it was so hard to figure out how to move that forward with the you know the action that's going to happen with the pool and all this and this mess. And I said, I, you know, I I have to come back when you're really ready for the occupancy, and hopefully you get a little bit more done. They didn't have the stairs for the deck done. They didn't have the landing done. They didn't have any of the access roads done. This is all in our jurisdictional area. As a matter of fact, it's very close on that side. They didn't have the um, patio section underneath the porch. And who knows if it's even going to be that same thing now. Um, there was like, there's like a terraced area now, and that wasn't finished off. So I did tell <coughs> the developer that we're, we would be OK when, when he feels like he's finished. <coughs> To, to to approve or say okay to his work, but we need him to put everything he's not doing that his responsibility on a memo. Right. The owner has to sign it saying that they'll take care of it and then we'll be good with signing off for him. Right. Yeah, because right. in essence, the, the owner has the house. They know what they're getting into and they have an order of conditions out already. Mm -hmm. so. But I just want them to know what everything that, yeah. you know, uh, that builder B, B and MBA builders are, are going to leave them with. And that seems reasonable, I mean, because the access road on both sides, they can't do anything there because they need them to build the pool. So now that's the pool guy's responsibility yes. or the homeowners. Makes complete sense to me, but I don't want to get to the end of the road and have them say, no, 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 no they were supposed to come back. Yeah. So they're not living in that yet? I think, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a long time. Yeah. Well, it was. I mean, this thing has proven to be exactly how it started. It was. It was a very hard project, and it hasn't given up yet. Every time something happens, it's a, it's kind of gets harder and harder. So. Any other outstanding? No. No bills. No minutes. We'll do the minutes the next. No. It'd be nice to see a good showing at MACC this year. It's coming up. Um, you know, beginning yeah, of next year. Six months away? So it's a little while away, but it, you know, no one's been going. So to the to the spring. That we well, you and go Harry go went. <laughs> Did you go? Thanks, <laughs> thanks for calling me, Noah. Yeah. Um, See, the last two years we've had three people go. I went. That's half the commission. No, last year. Oh, okay, okay. let's take it back. I'm glad you guys went. <laughs> Did you give a report on which is? Yes. Oh yeah. I did. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I must have been out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here, here, here's It'd a refresher. Nice there was a lot of low-impact development. Oh, that's right. I didn't yeah. go because the yeah. it wasn't the, the, I didn't like the list. 
So <laughs> the list of uh, well, you know, the, well, when you're it's all about what you yeah. want to get into, and yeah, I didn't want to guess and yeah, do something. You want. All right. All right. Do I hear a motion? Second. All in favor.